Looking for the best productivity apps on Windows? Here are my top five tools that will actually make you feel on top of your game. These aren't just apps you install and forget, they will help you stay organized, work smarter and get more done every day. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss more tips to boost your productivity and streamline your workflow. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into the first tool. Now the first tool, as you can see, is this menu bar, which is called Yasp menu bar. And this is how it's going to look like on your Windows desktop. And I think it looks very, very nice and actually quite decluttered compared to the most Windows 11 desktop. Here on the left, you will find this Windows button and this will pretty much help you to turn off your computer. And this is the overlay you will pretty much see. Now here on top, you will also see the calendar. And then here you will see the notifications. You can also click here on this loop to search something. Then here you will see the task manager. Now here on the right, you will see the weather. Then here you will see the power of your charge. And then here you will also see the volume and uh, this really nice slider to change it. Now this tool is very easy to install. You guys will just go to this link, which I will also put in the video description down below. And then here, click on the releases. And then down below, you will find this file, which ends with .msi. Just click on it and install it like you would any other Windows program. Now you can also customize it if you want. So if you click here, you can then go here to Yasp and right click on it and then here, you can click get themes. And here you can pretty much see how many of the themes you can pick from. The one which I like the most is this one right here. It's called Fluent Design and it's inspired by the Windows 11. So I think this one goes very, very well with the Windows 11. And this is pretty much how it looks like. Now, really nice addition to this tool is called Microsoft Power Toys. And that way you are able to actually use the fancy zones to change the layout of your windows which are open. So for example, here I have the window of the Edge browser and now to pretty much tile it, you can hold shift on your keyboard and then you will see here this blue background and you can just release it and this will snap to this position. Now we can also customize it if you want, you can just go here to the Microsoft Power Toys and then here on the right, you will search for the fancy zones. You can click on this. And then here you can see that you can open layout editor. Now here you can pick whatever layout you prefer. However, down below, you can also create your own brand new layout. For example, if I click here on the columns layout, we can right now close the editor here. And now we can snap, for example, power toys here on the left. And now if I open here the edge browser and snap it here to the right, this is how the windows right now look like. We have this Yasp menu bar on top and then here on the left and on the right we have Edge and also the Power Toys settings. Now, Power Toys also has more plenty of the tools which you can use. The one which I also use quite regularly with this cool setup, it's called Command Palette. Now, if you want to open it, you can just click here on the Alt plus space and this will open this Command Palette. You can go here to the settings and configure the Command Palette settings as well. Now, with the Command Palette settings, you can search your computer, open different apps and also calculate things if you want to. For example, let's say nine minus one, you can see here the calculation and uh, you can also copy it here to the clipboard. Now, one thing which you can also do here is to open different applications. For example, I can search here for Zen. And since we don't have here the taskbar, this uh, search menu here on the middle, it goes very, very handy to open different applications. Now, the next application, which I quite like is also, it's called Zen Browser. And what makes this Zen Browser so special is this sidebar here on the left and the design of it. Now we can see here that this transparency effect is really nice. And you can also, for example, here hover your mouse on top and this will open this minimize button and close button. And now if you go here to the right, you can also right click on this sidebar and enable this option called compact mode. Now, if you enable this, you can see here that this should right now hide this sidebar on the left. So if I go, for example, on X, you can see here that sidebar is not visible anymore. And here on the left, we have to hover this mouse over it and uh, this sidebar will appear. Now, if you want, you can also change the look of the sidebar completely. 
So if you right click here, I will here disable the compact mode. And now here on the left, click on the three dots and here click on the settings. And now here under the look and feel, you will see here three options. For example, you can go with single toolbar, which is the setting I use right now. Then we have multiple toolbars and also the collapse toolbar. So this is how the collapse option actually here looks like. And this browser, by the way, is based on the Firefox browser with this really nice theme with the blur applied to it. And you can also download it on your Windows as well as on Mac and I believe on Linux as well. So I think this is a very nice browser to have on your computer. The next tool is actually called Uniget UI. So you can also get it on the GitHub page and install it like you would any other Windows program. So you can see here that this is basically a package manager with the software, you can pretty much update your outdated programs and also install the applications with this program as well. For example, let's say you don't want to go on GitHub to search for every single application. That way you can just search for the packages here inside this tool. Now you can just simply go here and search for example, VLC, and then you can click here on the loop and this will start to search for the packages. Now I can see here how many of the VLC players it actually found. And here on the right, you can see also the source, for example, Winget. Then we have also PowerShell here and the other one. Now, pretty much if you want to install it, what you will do here, for example, I believe this is the latest version. So VLC Media Player 3021, and you can just select it here. And then you can click here on install selection. You will have to accept the admin prompt. You can just click on yes and then just wait for a few seconds. Now, it's that easy to install packages using this program. Now, if you want to update them, just go here to the software updates and then make sure that you select both of the, all of the applications you have to update and then click here on update selection. I think this is very useful to have. And by the way, for the YASP menu bar, you will have to right click on it as well and make sure that you click here, enable auto start. And this will make sure that whenever you turn on your computer or restart it, this will open this menu bar on top as well. And for this menu bar on top, make sure that you also have this uh, taskbar to the auto hide. So what you will have to do is search for the settings here and then go here to the personalization. Down below, you will find an option for the taskbar and here click on taskbar behaviors and check mark this option called automatically hide the taskbars. This way the desktop will look a whole lot cleaner. Now for the next application, it's called Win Dynamic desktop you can just here open it on the system tray and what this will do this will allow our desktop to have this really cool dynamic theme this is what it's going to look like so pretty much here on the left you can see all of the themes you can pretty much install and then here once you have them installed click on the apply and it should apply this uh, desktop wallpaper as your background now we can also get even more themes for this application. So if you go here, for example, to get more themes online, this will redirect you here to this website. And from this website, you can pretty much download whichever wallpaper you want. Here we have free category, and then you also have paid category. So pretty much download whichever you like. Now, with that said, this have been five apps which will supercharge your productivity on Windows 11 and make your desktop look a whole lot cleaner. As you can see, in my opinion, it looks way better compared to before. And we also have this really nice search bar on the middle of our screen with which we can open applications and also search for the files. I will leave every single tool mentioned in this video link below in the description. And by the way, if you need a brand new wallpaper, I made a brand new wallpaper pack, which you guys can check out in the video description below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, like this video as well, and uh, I will see you all around in the next one.